Hello everyone, what you can see here is a drip irrigation system working only when the soil is dry. Another one? No. This one you find on the shop are made of porous ceramic cones, through what the water flows when the soil is dry, but they have three problems. First, they are prone to clogging, so they need super clean water that makes it difficult to use normal rainwater, which is a pity since rainwater is a freely available resource and is the best one for plants. The second problem it is that it can also clog due to algas and any biofilms growing into it. The third problem is that it's constantly watering the plants, so their roots won't develop further than the water source. It generates weak plants, not being able later to resist from the lack of water. We surely don't want that, with the increasingly frequent heat waves. So, how do I get to a different result without electronic? Yes, because less is more and electronic hygrometer are not very efficient. I finally find how some mechanical hygrometer works and how would I convert the weak movement in a way that closes the water supply when needed. It came out with the help of plenty of layers of salted paper, here in red, inside the cork made tap, catching the surrounding humidity and swelling. It pinches a flexible thin pipe, the yellow ones, against the cork. This thin pipe is used for air entrance in the bottle, influencing the water outlet. This one is going to another pipe, having a possible setting too. You can see it made with a screw on the plastic cork used in both pipe adjustments. It is derivated from an innovation offered to the world by a sympathetic YouTuber called Frank in Your Face. You can also use electric dominoes. So, if there is two pipes, it is for the idea that the hydro tap, this is how I call it in English, is buried a bit further than the other one. So you can choose how long time it waters. The result is that it will water slowly and consistently the soil till the water reaches the hydro tap. When this one is wet, it cuts the air supply of the water, which then shuts the water supply and this until the sensor dries again. I'm posting the system with a simple one bottle, but the idea is to use the tech with larger container like IBC rain catchment for less watering work. It can also be implemented for many other techs like evap coolers and so on. About the contest, I hope that the tenure but essential link with the theme of paper will be taken into account. It's the first version I just made. If I had more time, I would have done a bioplastified paper bottle waterproof with casein paint plus oil, like done as the bottle lid hat you can see here on top. This old tech allows to, to do nice looking sculpture for the garden while protecting the contents from sun and heat. But I prefer to concentrate on the mechanical hygroscopic sensor since sadly doesn't exist yet. This is my first video and in English. As you can hear, it's not my native language, so please be nice with me. I wish you understood everything well. I'd be glad to read returns from you and any suggestion to better the system. Cheers! I want here to do a quick little video update for some details and to understand how to do the settings. First, I finally replaced the big pipe by, by a rubber one, so it's more easily pinchable. Uh, then I, I pinched it more uh, because the water was flowing too, too fast. I guess I could have done with the thinner pipe. After some leaks, I have ensured a proper tightness into the plastic cork with the help of super glue and baking soda around the pipes. You fit the pipes in the cork, put some glue mix, then put the pipe in the right place while turning them, then fit the cork in the bottle to press everything together. Now the settings. Around the paper sensor and between the yellow pipe and around them I made a little jaw with little credit card bits. You can see them here, the blue and white thing.
to pinch the pipe like I would do with my nails. You can do some initial sensibility adjustment already, already by putting the pipe more or less at the end of the jaw. Second setting. Put, put everything together. Fill the bottle. Close the cap. Put the bottle inside, uh, upside down in a flower pot and wet the sensor. You want to avoid to water the yellow pipe entrance. Water drops inside could mislead otherwise our ne next adjustment. If the air bubbles enter by the yellow pipe, screw it a bit more, the sensor jaw, until it stops. When you've done that, let the water in a hot and dry place some days, with a jar under to reclaim the any water drops and to check at what rhythm it is working. With the observation, it helps to final adjustment before letting it alone in its final place. Sometimes you have to screw it more, sometimes less. That's it. I wish it helps you to experiment in good condition in my system.